Hello, Californians. I'm Dr. Neptune, and for the past few years, I've been able to appreciate the earth and resources, natural resources, with our friends and coworkers of our essential workers who are continuing to protect our natural resources here in these difficult times. But we've had an absolute blast doing experiments together, and we're gonna continue doing them, even though you can't be here to help me do those experiments together. I hope you'll come along and we can do some fun experiments today. Today, in this video, we're going to talk about wastewater treatment and the steps of well, what happens when you eat your dinner and it goes flushing down the toilet? Well, we're gonna talk about how we go through the steps of wastewater treatment. Can you help me? All right, let's get started. So we enjoy water in so many ways. We like to get out on the streams. We like to go out and fish. We like to have fun at the beach. And we expect that when we get inside of the creeks, inside of the streams, that they're free from pollutants but how does that happen? Well, with wastewater treatment. So I'm gonna show you the first step right now, and it's screening. Let's take a look. Here is gonna be a model of our effluent output. This right here is gonna be a model of our wastewater. And as you see, there can be all kinds of stuff in it. When you get water into the headworks of a wastewater treatment facility, you're gonna see all kinds of stuff like this plastic right here, anything you can imagine, rags, uh, uh, different uh, um, uh, types of organic material and inorganic material, and things that are um, uh, synthetic uh, uh, composites like this. All sorts of these things that make it really difficult to break down all the pollutants and separate them from the water need to be taken out to make the cleaning process easier. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add, or is we're going to pour through these screen right here. Now in the headworks, you're gonna have bar ladder screens, bar screens that come up and then lift these things up really high up in the air, then separate it off and you dump off the trash and it goes to your municipal uh, waste department. But uh, right here, for the sake of a model, we're gonna pour uh, our, our water from our fish tank into our effluent model right here. All right, let's see if we can get a little bit cleaner. And, and you can do this at home. This right here is a simple screen that I got from a hardware store. And you can take all that trash that you see when you're walking around your neighborhood in these times and demonstrate the steps for yourself at home. So, as you can see, a lot of the big chunks came out right here, but Let's go and take a look down here. Is it perfect? No, nope, not quite. We need to clean it even more. And if we're gonna clean it even more, we're gonna need some special aerobic and anaerobic digesters. We don't have that, but we're gonna model it. Can you help me? All right, but first let's learn this key word, model. Everyone say model. Good job. And our next word is gonna be observation. Can you say observation? Good job. All right, let's work on our second treatment step. So we got our resulting water effluent right here. It doesn't look very clean. I think we need to clean it even further. And one of the wastewater treatment steps is uh, digestion. So adding bugs, bacteria, and even viruses into the water in oxygen conditions and in non-oxygen conditions. Anaerobic conditions and non-aerobic um, <laughs> conditions to get different kinds of bugs to break down different types of pollutants and help the water to be uh, cleaned easier. So what we're going to do is we're gonna model it right now. And uh, what we have here is our dirty water. And since we don't have uh, any uh, real bacteria that we're gonna put in here, we're gonna model it with this uh, soda ash right here. All right, so we made our solution a little bit basic, and then you'll see why soon. So we've adjusted the pH right here. Now, once again, it will be anaerobic and aerobic uh, bacteria that live inside of uh, each of those uh, different uh, uh, digester basins uh, that would uh, undergo chemical reactions and biological um, processes and further break down the constituents. So uh, right here uh, is a method that uh, is used when uh, drinking water is cleaned 
is to further purify it uh, down and uh, create a coagulant. What I just added right here is going to be a model of flock or, uh, flo or flocculant. Can you guys say flocculant at home? <laughs> flocculant is going to help uh, the coagulation uh, process right here and gather up all these uh, pollutants so that they can be trapped and filtered for our next step. So we have here is the next basin. We have all of our biological and chemical reactions going on here. We have our uh, flock that uh, is usually gonna settle to the bottom uh, right here and then clarify the water. And what we're gonna do is uh, go ahead and filter it here through our model. Oh, that, that color change there. All right, so we filtered out a lot of those big pieces right there. It looks like our, uh, our coagulation process worked pretty well right here. And our sedimentation <laughs> of uh, our uh, um, solid waste right there. And result, hmm, I don't think that this is ready to clean yet. This right here is not quite ready to clean in. As you see, it's actually undergone a color change, a chemical change. We need to do some further tests on it. And some of those tests that are done here at the water board to make sure that your water is safe to drink and safe to do your activities in are some of the stuff that we support right here. Let's go ahead and clean this up right here. Go ahead and take a look at our disinfection process. So we've come to our uh, next stage of our treatment process and we've got this water right here that's got all these bugs in it, but it's not quite safe to drink yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue to clean it. How's it clean in, at your local wastewater treatment plant? Well, uh, it needs to be disinfected and that can be done with uh, chlorides. It can be done with a chloramination uh, process that stabilizes the uh, growth of bacteria. Uh, UV treatment, which uh, stunts the ability of bacteria to continue to grow, or carbonation, um, which uh, lowers the pH down and uh, prevents uh, the proliferation of bacteria and things that'll get you sick. We don't have any of those things right now, but we're gonna do is demonstrate it here with phenolphthalein. Let's take a look. So right here we have our uh, dirty water. And uh, as you can see, it's been contaminated already. <laughs> and uh, what we're gonna do is use our phenolphthalein indicator. Now, by the way, the State Water Board also receives this, uh, this metric information about water quality and helps uh, your local drinking water providers provide clean water to you and um, our um, engineers and uh, scientists that can, and administrative professionals that are working right now to continue that essential work. We all thank them. And let's go ahead and see what this water looks like. Oh boy, this phenolphthalein indicator. Now it turns really dark pink when we got a lot of bugs in here. And that's exactly what happened right here. Ooh, ah. Now, this may look delicious uh, and pink, but it's definitely not safe to drink. None of these things are safe to drink or put into your mouth. None of these things that we put into our model. I would say that this right here is dirty and it needs to be cleaned further. So now it's time to do the disinfection process. So I mentioned chlorides and chlorine that's put in. That's basically uh, bleach that's added to the water. What we're gonna use right here to neutralize this solution is uh, acetic acid or vinegar. So for those of you at home, we started off with our bugs. We used uh, soda ash or sodium bicarbonate, and then we used our phenolphthalein indicator, uh, which is you have to make uh, very carefully. Uh, and uh, this right here is uh, our acetic uh, acid. And let's disinfect. And three, two, one, and disinfection, our final step. So. There might be still some bugs in here, but you don't have to worry about the bugs proliferating and getting you sick. These right here is gonna be mixed with other fresh water at the discharge. And then with mixing, the concentration uh, goes down and dilution is the solution. And we have clean water to use for municipal uses like boating, fishing, uh, swimming, maybe if it gets uh, further treated. Um, but the point is that we can clean it with science, with chemistry and biology, we can make it happen. So 
I hope you enjoyed this wastewater treatment video. I hope that you continue to ask questions about the world around you. I hope that you are continuing to be excited about stewarding our natural resources and continuing our Earth Day celebration, not just this month, but every single day. Take care, Dr. Neptune out. Live long and prosper. And I'll see you in the next video.